What is up everybody? So we have a copy of Kathleen Zellner's newest filing on behalf of Stephen Avery in an attempt to get him an evidentiary hearing. I will link it in the description below. It is linked from Kathleen Zellner's official website. Big thanks to the French Wrecking Crew on Twitter for sending me this link. I will link his Twitter in the description below. Go give him a follow. He's got all kinds of great information on the case. Now the introduction. This states that this is Mr. Avery's reply to the state's response opposing a motion for an evidentiary hearing and post-conviction relief. The state has presented an argument designed to obstruct the significance of Mr. Avery's powerful new defense that Bobby Dassey had the opportunity and is directly connected to actually murdering Teresa Halbach and to planting the forensic evidence to frame Stephen Avery because he was observed pushing Teresa Halbach's vehicle, which contained her blood spattered in the rear cargo area and door, onto the Avery salvage yard in the middle of the night, planning it where it would be easily discovered the next day. The RAV4 contained evidence of violence inflicted on Teresa Halbach, her clothing, and personal effects blood, and the forensic evidence that was used to convict Bobby's uncle, Stephen Avery, of Teresa Halbach's murder. Bobby's possession of the RAV4 with Teresa Halbach's blood spattered inside of it demonstrates he not only had a direct connection and opportunity to murder Teresa Halbach, but also to plant the following evidence contained in the vehicle. Teresa Halbach's three electronic devices were burned and placed in Stephen Avery's burn barrel, the RAV4 license plate that were removed and hidden in another car on the Avery salvage yard, Stephen Avery's blood that was carefully dripped in the front seat of the RAV4 and applied to the dash with an applicator, the RAV4 key that was found in Stephen Avery's bedroom with his but not Teresa Hallbach's DNA, Teresa Hallbach's DNA that was found on a bullet in Stephen Avery's garage. Additionally, if Bobby Dassey is the perpetrator of Teresa Hallbach's murder, he had the opportunity to burn her body in the Dassey burn barrel where some of her larger bones were found with cut marks, smelling of flammable liquid, and plant the remaining bones buried and burned Gene Rivets in Stephen Avery's burn pit. In regard to the hood latch DNA swab, Mr. Avery has previously argued that DNA was removed by nurse at the Aurora Medical Center on November 9th, 2005, upon the request of investigator Thomas Fassbender and Mark Weirgert when he was arrested for unlawful possession of a firearm and his body was illegally swabbed. The nurse took two swabs in Stephen's groin area. After that, she continued and was going to take some more swabs when, when Fassbender and Weirgert conferred with each other and determined that the search warrant did not call for that type of exam. Stephen Avery has previously argued and presented evidence that one of the two swabs was kept. Mr. Avery's trace expert opined after concluding a series of experiments that the alleged hood latch swab never swabbed a hood latch. The state argued at trial that Stephen Avery's DNA was deposited on the hood latch when he opened the hood with sweaty hands to disconnect the battery to prevent the vehicle to prevent the vehicle's alarm from being activated. The state's theory is implausible at best. Stephen Avery's fingerprints were not found anywhere on the RAV4, even though the state fingerprint expert found eight prints on the vehicle and testified that someone with sweaty hands was more likely to leave prints than someone with dry hands. The killer had Teresa Hallbach's key, so the chances of triggering so the chances of triggering the alarm were remote at best, and even if that had occurred, the alarm could have quickly been disabled by using the key. Stephen Avery's new witness, Thomas Sawinski, provides the plausible answer as to why the battery was disconnected when he describes the RAV4 lights being off when he observed Bobby Dassey and another individual pushing the vehicle onto the Avery salvage yard. Clearly, the obvious and simple explanation for the battery being disconnected was to disable the vehicle's interior and exterior lights so that Bobby and his unidentified companion could push the vehicle onto the Avery salvage yard and avoid detection. Stephen Avery never deposited his DNA on the RAV4 hood latch. The state never explains why Stephen Avery's DNA is not found in the vehicle, but found on the hood latch. That's a great question. But found on the hood latch or why his blood is not found on the hood latch, but is found in the vehicle. 
great questions. Of course, his fingerprints are found nowhere and on the exterior or interior of the vehicle. Bobby, by possession of the RAV4, is directly connected to both Teresa Halbach's murder and the framing of Stephen Avery. Bobby's possession of Teresa Halbach's vehicle gave him the opportunity to murder her and plant the forensic and plant the forensic evidence used to frame Stephen Avery. All right, that's where I'm going to end this first video. I'll be right back with part two. Let me know what you think of this first part of this newest motion filed by Kathleen Zellner. Let me know. Leave some comments below. I hope you're having a good day, and I'll see you again soon.